Okay, it's time for a little update on what we've gotten accomplished. As you can see, the pile is now removed enough that we can see almost half the pond. Take a walk over here, show you what's been going on. Then he's working on an area here where he's going to put a slight retaining wall up and level an area there that he can have a place for some chairs and a table so that they can sit out here in the evening and we've been working pond. on coating the inside you can see it's this back wall is about half finished uh, at some point I'll show you how we put that on and show you that if you were making a smaller pond that's all you would need would be this coating on the inside like that over wire mesh and you'd have a sufficient liner to work for a pond. There's just enough, we left enough of the expanded metal on the top oh, nice, uh, to allow the formation of a curbing or uh, coping, I guess is what you call it, around the pond, in which to place rocks then that will overhang. And there's our skimmer opening. And this area right here that's dug out is going to be a place to plant lilies. Comes around the pond, and we'll go down this stream in the back, or water holding area in the back, of the pond where submergent plants can be placed and it's uh, approximately 12 feet of straight run to where we'll have a collection pit we have to dig a trench yet to put a drain out to go down the, the slope that opening right there that pipe right there is the pipe that's coming from the bottom drain and that's coming into the collection pit below the water level so it'll feed by gravity. Then uh, this area here is where the filters will be placed and then there'll be another pit over there for the pump and this is the area over here around this whole corner where the waterfall Looking will back be. the other direction walk through this stream again and this will end up being about about a foot deep just right for pots into the lily pool which is uh, going to be about 18 or 19 inches deep and then this area is going to be oh there's one of our friends getting on the lens uh, it's going to be the area where the pond can be enjoyed from an observation platform that'll be at the same level as the pond and that's what we got done so far. I have to go home tomorrow, back to Illinois. So Denny's going to be working on some of this stuff, like placing all the concrete in the bottom of the lily pool and the stream. Hopefully tomorrow before I leave. I have to actually go home on Wednesday, not tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I hope to be able to put the forms in for the filters and for the filter that we have going into the skimmer area. I get those done and then Denny can kind of work on the other stuff until I can find some time to get back down here again and this help him finish it This is a view that off. Denny has from the back side of his pond into his property. Over there is where that waterfall is that I showed you the other day. And if we turn around Here's the pond that we're working on, and that's Denny's house. And if we look up there, that's the hummingbird feeder where I took those hummingbird videos last summer. And I had the pleasure of seeing the first hummingbird come in today. So April 11th. 
first hummingbird showed up. Now we're expecting really bad storms. In fact, radar shows the rains to be just about 10 miles away. So we're going to have to sit and watch movies this And this is Denny's house from the front. And as we leave the front of the house, oh look, a butterfly, tiger swallowtail. Well, back to walking around the house. Past the noisy air conditioner, because I can't believe it's as hot and humid as it is. And two weeks ago it was snowing. The deck where we watch the hummingbirds. And of course, fire pit. And in the background there, the pond. So, pretty soon, we'll have a pretty nice little pond out here. To sit and watch fishes and frogs and turtles and all that kind of stuff. Because I think I finally found a home for some of my baby turtles. And there he is. The hummingbird. First one of the season. <laughs> 